If you worship the almighty God, you become like him. Nothing can be higher than the most high. You become a reflection of who you worship. This woman went. Write this down. In the dynamics of prayer, the first thing you must understand is that God is a judge. The Bible says, why, the, why do you think the Lord used the story? Jesus was giving this parable. It was a parable. He used the word judge. If God must answer your prayer, you understand he judges sin. When you are living in sin and you are an intercessor, you make yourself an enemy of both God and the devil. I explain that. You are living in sin and you are an intercessor. You are speaking in tongues on top of sin. So God is looking at you. He's worried. Satan is worried. <laughs> they don't know whose child you are. You know, there are many people who accuse the devil falsely. Oh. Satan faces false accusations. Satan. One day the, somebody gave a story how the devil went to complain to God. That there are so many lies told on him. While he was telling God that somebody did something on earth and he asked him, who did he? He said the devil. And Satan told, told God, you see, I'm here. I'm, I'm with you now. <laughs> because the life you live, there are people, the way they live their life, alcoholic, addicted, lie. When some people lie, they lie like they're prophesying. When some people lie, Satan is shocked. When they lie, the devil look at them and say, Wow. And the demon said to the devil, I thought you were the father of lies. He said, no, that's my grandfather. <laughs> and some people lie. If they tell you good evening, look outside, it can be morning. You have to check the weather. God is a judge. Moses killed an Egyptian. It looked left. It looked right. Nobody was there. He buried it in the sand. What are you burying in the sand? Dig it out. Rachel sat on gods. Hey, I'm happy I don't serve a God I can sit on. What kind of God is that? That somebody can sit on the God. She sat. I'm asking you today, child of God, what are you sitting on? God is a judge. You come to God, you must tell him to help your life. God is a judge. You can't be offending God and expect him to keep defending you. Proverbs 14, 34. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. Psalm 66, 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. You see, we are in a generation where a drunkard accuses a liar of lying. An adulterer accuses a thief. A thief accuses a fornicator. You see, that you sin differently doesn't make you a saint. There are people who feel they are righteous only because they sin differently. I'm not a drunk. I don't drink. I only steal. And there's some people that don't steal, as far as they're concerned, they only take. And they are takers, they are not thieves. They just change figures, so they are not outright thieves. They, they know how to balance the books. They know how to balance the books. Sin is a disqualifier. That is why anywhere there is sin, there is sickness. Anytime there's a remedy for sin, there's a cure for sickness. Who forgiveth that iniquity and healed thy disease you are well again go sin no more lest a worse thing come upon you john 5 14 it is the cure sin is the gate man and sickness is the worker sin mounts the gate and you open it sickness walks in the same sickness attack okay listen if you are if you are a politician or if you are a government official there is no vip hiv
There is no VIP fibroid. So what happened? The doctor said, I will just diagnose. This is presidential fibroid. <laughs> the same attack on the poor comes on the rich. Sickness is a leveler. God is calling out today. Isaiah 59 from verse 1 and verse 2. Isaiah 59. 1 and 2. The hand of the Lord is not sure that he cannot save his ears. No heavy cannot hear. But your iniquity has separated you from God. And your sins have turned his face from you. God is calling you today for a change. How can one lady, one, someone came to me and said she wants to get married. I was shocked. She gave me five names. He said, pick one. He says, what are you doing with five? He said, I just, I just want to, you know, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. I said, it depends on the basket. <laughs> what are you doing with five names? I said, are they just friends? He said, no, I'm actually having a relationship with them. Five! So I said, no problem. You will lie down on this table. I want a knife. I will slice you in five places. Give one to this, give one to that, give one to that. He said, no, I just want to pick one. You can pick one. You can't eat your cake and have it. You end up losing everything. You end up losing everything. And there are people today who are asking, I mean, someone said to me, I should show him from scriptures where the Bible says that smoking is a sin. I should give him an, a, a, a direct scripture. He doesn't want me to cut corners. Direct, thou shalt not smoke. So I said to him, uh, can I answer your question with a question? He said, yes. I said, you have to show me something from the Bible. We have the Bible tells us not to stand in front of a moving truck. Thou shalt not stand in front of a truck. He said, no, no, that's wrong. God expects you to use your initiative. I said, you don't have sense. God expects you to use your initiative to know that this kills your body. It kills your liver. It kills your kidney. It kills your lungs. Am I talking to somebody right now? You are dying. You are drying. It kills your system. Sin is a disqualifier. The woman came and reported to the judge. God is a judge. And she began to pray. In fact, when all happened to her, she came to pray. Write this down. If you can pray, all is not lost. I told you, no matter what you lost, don't give up. Even God lost angels. And he's still God. God lost angels and he's still God. Don't give up. If you can pray, don't give up till your problem gives up. The Bible says the woman persisted on the judge. He worried the judge. I won't give up until my battles give up. I won't give up until the mountains give up. I don't care what happens to me. I don't care what happens around you. need to be brutal, rugged, acidic, corrosive, and volatile to be able to survive in this world we are in now. You can't be gentle. If you are gentle, you can't settle. You don't pamper the devil, you hammer him. You don't manage him, you damage him. Satan is not for management, it's for damagement. I have said this over time that timidity and gentility minus brutality and ruggedity he said nonentity in captivity am I talking to somebody timidity, timidity and gentility minus brutality and ruggedity he said nonentity in captivity aspire to acquire the desires you admire even if you perspire don't retire but refire to acquire your desire am I talking here ay 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 aspire to acquire the desires which you admire even if you perspire don't retire but refire to acquire your desire i'm not giving up i'm not giving up it's not in our culture we don't give up am i talking to when the devil hits you with failure gather yourself hit him with success we don't give up i was talking to somebody i said my def the definition of my life is courage I don't give up. It's the problem that will give up. You come fighting me, I will, you will lose energy. Am I talking to somebody here? You just had a heartbreak. Please, the next day, post a picture of yourself eating in the five star restaurant. Go to Dubai, go to Hawaii, go to China, and have dinner on a yacht. 
ah just be excited your tears are only for god in the place of worship your tears is not for any mortal man ah, yeah, 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 yeah. when men say there is a casting down thou shall say there's a lifting up it shall save the humble person am i speaking to somebody right now whatever is gone is not lost if you can pray all is not lost if you can seek the face of god all is not lost jesus said let's go to the other side there is another side tell somebody there is another side of life there's another side of life there's another side of life